Now that everyone's all grown up, let's see what they've been up to. Well, give them some food, turn up the music, and let's get this party started, yo! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Zoe 101 stars, where are they now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the major cast members from Zoe 101 and seeing what they've been up to in their professional and personal lives since the show ended in 2008. Get over here. You behave. In bed by 10 and no coffee after dinner. You promise me? <laughs> no. Number 10, Austin Butler. Austin Butler has remained active in the teen genre since Zoe 101's finale. Bank shot. Uh, horse. No, that's just H.O. In 2013, he began starring as Sebastian Kidd in the CW's The Carrie Diaries, which was canceled after two seasons. This is fantastic. I know. Here, so we can listen together. Following that, he moved to MTV, landing the lead role of Will Omsford in The Shannara Chronicles, a fantasy drama that sees Will protecting the Four Lands from an invading horde of demons. I had to go all the way to Only, but I found White Willow Bark. I'm afraid he won't do any good now. However, this too was cancelled after two seasons. Austin has also branched out into more adult-oriented shows and movies. From 2011 to 2012, he played Wilkie Wilkerson on Switched at Birth and 2019 marked arguably his biggest break to date, the role of Tex Watson, a prominent member of the Manson family, in Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That is, until it was announced that he'd be playing Elvis himself in Baz Luhrmann's next project. We cannot wait to see that. Number 9, Kristen Herrera. Can I play? Um, we kind of have a full team. Bye! I guess you're in. You any good? Now just pass me the ball whenever you can, and stay out of the way. Works for me! Kristen Herrera starred as Zoe and Nicole's roommate Dana Cruz in the first season of Zoe 101. But then something happened. I'm Zoe. This is Nicole. I'm guessing you're cranky? Dana, look, I wanted my own room, but this said I'm required to show, so I guess I'm stuck with you two. Just stay out of my way and out of my stuff, and we won't have a problem. She was quickly written off the show, and the rumor mill suggests that it was because Kristen looked too old next to her co-stars. Dana Cruz was then replaced, and that was it for poor Kristen Herrera. Now, good day, girls. She enjoyed a recurring role as Lourdes del Toro on General Hospital, but it would be her last. Kristen has since quit acting, and her last acting credit was an episode of General Hospital that aired in 2008. She is now living a quiet life away from the glitz, glamour, and bright lights of show business. Number 8, Alexa Nicholas. Alexa Nicholas clearly did not have a good time on the set of Zoe 101. Nicole! I don't want to leave! This is the best school ever! It's got a swimming pool and cute boys, and it's across you from the beach and has cute boys. Well, I'm sure there's cute boys back at your school in Kansas. No, they're all dumb and gross. I want to stay here at PCA. Following reports of persistent disagreements and fights with co-star Jamie Lynn Spears, Alexa was fired from Zoe 101 while her character, Nicole Bristow, was written out of the show. That one. But that's my stuff. That'll be moving. While she hasn't managed to land a part as big as Nicole since then, Alexa continued to act in television. Who are they? Can I help you? Hi, are you the new owner? Yeah. You guys are? This is Mr. Stanwick, Mr. Bavar. County Code Enforcement. We had the building inspected last week. She has made one-off appearances in numerous beloved shows, including Supernatural, The Walking Dead, and Mad Men, the latter being in 2013. That was fast. What are you doing in here? You said you were going to get some ice and we were going to have a drink and watch the sunset. I have some things to do. Stop doing that. You are really uptight, aren't you? In 2012, Alexa married a musician named Mike Miloš, but the two split in 2016. Number 7, Matthew Underwood. All right, all right. 
I know there's been a little tension between me and you girls since you guys came to PCA. You think? Yes, and I feel bad about that, which is why I want to give you something. Just a present for me to you girls. Following the conclusion of Zoe 101, Matthew hasn't done much in terms of acting, but that hasn't stopped him from making the news. He was arrested on two separate occasions in 2012, once for marijuana possession and the other time for violating his probation while visiting a hookah lounge. The following year, he directed the music video for Jamie Lynn Spears' How Could I Want More, making it clear that the two remained close. Lying in the green grass Underneath the blue sky Looking at a good man Wanna be the right guy. And while he still keeps out of the spotlight, he made the news yet again in April 2017, though this time for far more flattering reasons, he rescued a baby from a car crash. Alright! Yes. yes! About time! Number 6, Christopher Massey. We don't know if the set of Zoe 101 was a total hell on earth or something, but a surprising number of its stars have seemingly quit acting. Can't move. Too hungry. Need food. I have food. Oh yeah, she does. What's that? Baby food. Following Zoe 101, Christopher Massey provided the voice of Rasta in the search for Santa Paws. State your business, Buster, before I bite you like a chew toy. I need help finding Santa Claus. You expect us to believe you know the man himself? What's in it for us, pal? Well, I'm sure Santa Claus will appreciate your help and appeared in episodes of The Electric Company and Switched at Birth before leaving showbiz behind. You can't believe everything you read online. Cause I read, if you drop a peanut in a glass of lemonade, it explodes. Well guess what? It didn't. He dropped off the map until 2016, when he was arrested in Las Vegas for misdemeanor domestic violence after reportedly shoving his girlfriend Cassie Jackson. You can now find Massey over at his eponymous YouTube channel, where he releases hip-hop music. He's a Atlanta shit. I bet I could bring the bank here, bounce back. Number 5, Aaron Sanders. For all four seasons of Zoe 101, Aaron Sanders portrayed the kooky and extremely intelligent Quinn Penske. You're calling the biohazard unit? You know the number by heart? Oh. Yes, hi, this is Quinn Penske. Right. No, this time I created a new germ by combining mutant strains of Anthracolex and Bacillacoccus B. Once Zoe ended in 2008, she immediately switched gears and starred in the soap opera The Young and the Restless, where she played Eden Baldwin. Her most successful post-Zoe character is Camille Roberts in the Nickelodeon musical comedy Big Time Rush, a role that earned her two Young Artist Awards for Best Performance in a TV series. Of course, I'll take you back! I'm gonna tell Rachel we're back together and that I will destroy anybody! Who tries to come between us? The late 2010s saw her appearing in various shorts and made-for-TV movies, including Lifetime's Guilty at 17. What did you see when you opened the door? He tried to grab her. Gilbert Atkins, you're under arrest for criminal sexual contact with a minor. You what is this about? Who accused me? I'm proud of you. Don't feel guilty for telling the truth. 30 years building a career. It's over. And a miniseries titled Six Degrees of Separation. Number 4, Victoria Justice. Victoria Justice didn't show up until the second season of Zoe 101, but she instantly became a fan favorite. Hi, do we know you? No. Well, then you want to tell us why you're sitting in the middle of our... Shh! I'm trying to talk to the dead. Okay, who are you? Lola. I'm your new roommate. She also seems to have used her time on the show as a springboard, as she has enjoyed quite a prosperous career in movies, TV, and music. Perhaps her biggest success is Victorious, the popular Nickelodeon sitcom that ran for four seasons between 2010 and 2013. That was a great scene, Trina! Really high quality television. <laughs> Top notch acting. Why are you here? Get out! No, we want to watch you act! However, the latter half of the decade proved quite fortuitous as well. In 2016, she starred as Janet in the Fox production of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Let's Do the Time Warp Again. So 
and in 2018, she landed a recurring role as Haley Wilson on the Facebook watch comedy Queen America. Number 3. Sean Flynn Like many of his co-stars, Sean Flynn has remained relatively quiet since his time on Zoe 101. I don't just miss her. I'm in love with her. I've been in love with Zoe ever since I met her. When she got out of her dad's car, I saw her standing there. I rode my bike into that stupid flagpole. In 2012, he starred in Hatfields and McCoy's Bad Blood alongside Christian Slater. And in 2014, he appeared in two episodes of the Lifetime comedy drama Devious Maids. Did you tell someone? Valentina. How could you do that? I got stabbed and she's not stupid. This is bad. I mean, if she tells someone... I don't think she will, but I'm getting out just in case. You might want to do the same. As of mid-2019, his last credited jobs were from 2015, a TV movie called The Wrong Boyfriend, and a five-minute short called What Did Zoe Say, which saw him and Christopher Massey reprising their roles as Chase and Michael. Then I'm in love with Zoe! Even now! Yes! What else did she say? Okay, uh, and she also said, but other times, I kind of think he just wants to be friends. No, 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 I wanted more. I wanted so much more. But now you love me. It was definitely cute, but it just made us long for more Sean Flynn. Hey! Ah! Ah. Number two, Paul Butcher. Why'd you lift my goggles? You have pretty eyes. Um, thanks. My pediatrician says I might need glasses soon because I don't see too well. So maybe I should get closer. How's this? Very clear. Following Zoe 101, Paul popped up in an episode of Criminal Minds and starred as Jeff Pookie in the YouTube mockumentary sitcom My Music. Hey everyone, glad to be on my first episode of The Mosh. Why does my lower third not have my name? However, Paul Butcher has essentially left acting behind and has branched out into music in the later half of the 2010s. You can catch his work over on his YouTube channel, The Paul Butcher, where he releases original pieces and covers of famous songs, including Justin Bieber's Love Yourself. For all the times that you rained on my parade And all the clubs you get in using my name Fortunately, all this work hasn't kept him from his education, as he graduated from Oaks Christian School in 2012 and attended the University of California, Los Angeles, where he entered the Zeta Beta Tau fraternity. Number 1. Jamie Lynn Spears Gotta get rid of that bear. Like, now. Or not. Or not? Maybe we keep the bear and have a little fun with Logan. Ah, a little payback. Or a lot of payback. Come with me. So what has Zoe herself been up to since we left her? As you all know, Jamie became the subject of severe scrutiny and controversy when she announced her pregnancy in 2007. She subsequently disappeared from the public eye until she moved to Nashville and began making country music. Her debut EP, The Journey, was released in May 2014, accompanied by the single How Could I Want More. I ought to say it's over. Let him live his own life. Stop crying on his shoulder. She released another single, Sleepover, in 2016, though this track didn't appear on the EP. also proved to be a big year in Jamie's personal life, as she married a businessman named Jamie Watson in New Orleans. But I have a great support system with my mom and my husband that allows me to really be able to balance it all. Oh, yummy. I'm so hungry. Don't come out. All right, now go get us some more. Because <laughs> I can eat these in Relay. one second. Their first child and her second daughter, Ivy Joan Watson, was born in April 2018. We may just see her get to play Zoe again, as it was announced by TMZ in July 2019 that she was speaking with Nickelodeon to join the supposed reboot. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.